<laughs> oh, I love that. That's so much fun to do. Welcome back, guys. My name is SkillsXKills27, and today we're back in our agrarian skies, a hardcore quest world where we take stuff to the limits and complete the challenges within this hardcore questing book. This pan has been increasingly better. It's got now life steel sharpness beheading fiery. And I'm a skill level master. Pretty amazing, right? And the beheading has helped me to gather some loot. But anyway guys, so today, like I said last episode, we want to get going on a smeltery today. So why don't we get started on that? But first I want to show you something real quick. So why don't we take a look at a few things? Okay, now this guy, as we know, we need the smeltery for. Or we could set that aside and go into these. First off, we need this guy. Rotten flesh and bones. I got them. Flight. Quarter of a heart and safari net. Go with the beginning one. What in the world is flight? Eight minutes of flight. I get eight minutes of flight, my friends. Eight minutes of flight and a cake. Oh my god, it's a lie. That cake is a lie! Bum 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 bum. And because I'm just in such a good mood right now, I'm going to put it there. Yummy cake. Everyone likes a good cake. Now, um, quarter of a heart. You can go in with the rest of the quarter of the hearts. And we are actually running a l <laughs> really low on storage space. So, let's go ahead and create another double chest, which hopefully we'll be able to turn these into iron chests soon. Um, but yeah, because we're running out of space to put our stuff in. Yeah, flight sounds pretty awesome. Wait for the last challenge to do that, I guess. Anyway, I've started infecting these leaves because I want a full forest of infected leaves so I can get a sh boob ton of, of, uh, of string, which would be amazing. Um, but also, I got these ancient spores, and I sieve through about like a hundred and... 50 sand, I swear. It was unbelievable. It was like a stack after a stack after a stack of sand until I finally got these ancient spores. Now it says you're supposed to place these on dirt and you get mycelium. Perfect. And um, so we're done with that. If we look at this, it says great sift and receive ancient spores. Plant these spores on a dirt block near a barrel filled with water to start turning the water into witch water. While the water in the barrel turns into witch water, mushrooms will spawn in the mycelium. Um, placing sand in a barrel of witch water will make soul sand. Sifting the soul sand can give you nether plants and resources. Placing a creepy doll in a barrel of witch water will spawn an enderman. Interesting. There's the witch water. Pretty cool. And it's going to spawn mushrooms as well, which is really cool. And of course, mushrooms are, are pretty important pretty important to um to what we're gonna wanna do so why don't we take go down here and grab a bucket and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do as it said we're gonna put some sand in the witch water so that we can get some soul sand let's just grab a few of these pieces here and because we, we do want to sift through our soul sand um well we can sift through our soul sand you don't have to now there's no water left. Oh no, we're gonna have to wait for it to rain again. Hell no, I'm not gonna wait for it to rain again. Let's do this. Let's do this the right way. Bam. And as you can see, it starts getting darker and darker and darker into which water. I really like this concept actually. And let's find a doll. In fact, doll. Precious doll. Angry doll. A creepy doll. They all need this original doll, which needs a diamond or an emerald. And some porcelain clay. Or we could wait for an enderman to spawn. Which one shall we do? Well, we got our first mushroom. Mushrooms, as you know, are very good for food. And we also got some cactus seeds, too. Which is really cool. And we're definitely not low on food, because I can do whatever fishing I want whenever I want. I've also got a bunch of these potatoes and some wheat being grown here 
And as well, we've got the seg, segu, segero fruit, which is really cool. So, anyway, um, do we want some more soul sand? Why not? Let's get some more soul. Whoops. Don't shift click. I'm telling you, don't shift click. Now we can go ahead and transfer some more water into this barrel. Let it turn into witch water. And that thing will do its those will do its thing. And let's sift through this soul sand. See what we can get. Nice. We got some nether quartz. Pretty cool. And I think we also got some blood saplings. Grows on the ceiling. Lava resistance. Pretty cool. Now I'm not sure what that does for us, so I'm just gonna ignore that. And I just want to take a look at this guy. And see, we actually have to submit the soul sand. Okay, so. Now I'm going to have to wait for an enderman to go and we can get his ender pearl. But for now, we're going to have to wait. Alright. So what's next? Well, um, we could go for this one. We need a squid. Squid spawner. Well, we can spawn a chicken, can't we? What? Wait, what? How do we spawn a chicken? Well... If we take arrows, we can do this to get a spawn chicken egg. Pretty cool, don't you think? Pretty cool. Isn't that amazing? So we can make a chicken farm out of a skelly farm, which is technically a food farm. Pretty cool. So let's spawn our chicken in our house, and we need to wait for this chicken to drop an egg. Then, once we get the egg, I believe we can sound surround it with some type of wool to get us a spawn of a chick or a squid spawner. So let's look at this squid. Spawn squid. Oh, it's just fishing rods around an egg. That's quite a lot of fishing rods, I guess. Egg. Egg. You will burn to death if you don't give me an egg. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Now, uh, what? well, that, we're waiting for an egg. That, we're waiting for an enderman. What's left? Looks like we're going to need to make ourselves a smeltery. Let's do it. So, what we're going to need to do is come outside and find a nice place for our smeltery to go. Well, what's a better place than on a platform of wood? You planted an egg yet? No. It'll take a while for that egg to come. And hopefully it'll come soon. Just sneak by these infected trees. And hopefully be able to grab and get a platform going over here. Alright. So. And we do this. Just want to be careful here. Don't fall into the deep dark hole. Like this. And perfect. Perfect. Now, we just need these guys. Now I think we can use these for a smeltery. Smeltery controller. Smeltery tank. We're gonna need um, smeltery drain, but that's gonna need to be on top of some of these one of these some of these bricks. And look a so, look a so, look a so. Oh man, we're like one brick short. Like one or two bricks short. Actually, multiple bricks short. You make an egg yet? Nope. So are we missing any bricks? Doesn't look like it. So we're going to have to do cook up some grout using our choco. So, while that's doing its thing, we're doing a lot, we're putting a lot of stuff on hold here. I don't like it. Um, I would like to get my sifter going over here. Can we not place it on? Oh yeah, that's right. It's, for some reason, it only likes being placed on half slabs. Weird, eh? Now, we can actually sift through dirt using this sifter. And I'm just trying to find my dirt here. Keep the door shut so that no chickens 
Well, escape. Where did he go? Okay, that's dangerous. That's that's a dangerous gamble. Um, what's wrong with you? Anyway, what are we? What were we looking for again? Right, a dirt. Dirt, where are you? I swear I had some dirt somewhere. Come on, dirt. There it is. I'm hiding in plain sight. Now, I want to show you this because it's very important. When we sift through dirt, we get ants. <laughs> Lots of ants. So it does them all at a stack at a time, by the way. And these ants can be used as baits, bait worms and bait ants. Now, these guys um, are used in the mariculture fishing part of the mod. And we already got, as a reward, we got some of these maggot baits. And this guy can use maggot baits, raw fish, grasshopper bait, and ant baits. We can use this ant bait, but not the worms. And I wanted to get into some mariculture because it's a whole lot of fun. And if we take a look at at Mary culture, shift at Mary culture, we can actually see that it comes with an automatic fisher. But for a lot of this, we need to use a vat, which is some inv. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we're not going to do that. Too expensive. Um, I guess we're just going to have to wait for this guy to cook up. On. Okay, good to go. Good enough. Oh, we're also going to need some lava too, aren't we? Yes, we are. Very sad. And ready for this? I love this thing. Oh, it's so much fun. There we go. Smeltery's in. Smeltery's in. Smeltery's working. Just going to place you there as an extra and do you there and do you on that and then do you underneath that. And we're going to need some lava to fire it up. So let's get to you and go get some cobblestone to cook up in our crucible and turn into lava. So, that's pretty cool. Now, what did that say we needed? Oh yeah, we needed a diamond to get our thingy. So, in order to get diamonds, by the way, diamonds and emeralds, you can get by sifting through gravel. So, like, it's probably, knowing my luck, it's probably... I probably have a better chance of getting a diamond than I did of getting those stupid seeds. But uh yeah, it's pretty um, pretty pretty big step involved. Oh, we got nothing there. Ooh, potatoes ready. Just right click the potatoes and the wheat and they will just drop all their goodies off into your inventory. Alright, so now get out of there. Jesus. Now we can actually fill you with cobblestone. And always just constantly right click on you. See if we can get some lava. Now that's going to take a while to do its thing. So, while we wait, let's get. What do we want to get? Um, well, we can just sift through some gravel, I guess, while we wait for that. Get some very annoying spiders. <laughs> wow. Good job killing yourself there, spider. Number one, not top spider of the year award for you. Still no eggs. I always have to check, check this bag because they seem to be coming in here occasionally. Nada. Nada, nada, nada. I know it's ridiculous, right? Crazy. Let's go get some gravel so we can hopefully find a diamond. Because if we can find a diamond, then we'll be able to take out our uh, ender weenie. And the Enderman um, will give us an Ender Pearl, which then we can complete this challenge and get. Well, we don't really get much, do we? Not really. In fact, what were we waiting on? Right, so we're waiting on the egg. Oops, so, whoops, way too far back. So, we're waiting on the egg, and we're waiting on the Enderman, and we're waiting on the casting call, which is nothing really. Oh, the lava. Wait. <laughs> So, so, anyway, how are you enjoying the series? I hope you're liking it, because I'm having a lot of fun. 
on this series. I would like to do a co-op series. I was actually going to do a co-op series with VI Fizz. However, it didn't quite work out very well because... Oh, look at that. My screen split. Nice. Um, but I was going to do it with VI Fizz. But then VI Fizz, he didn't back out. Um, it's actually... This doesn't work very well with co-op. Of course it doesn't. My luck, my luck. As we all know, I've got horrible bad luck. Um, but why does this not work well? Because the buck is meant for an individual player and not a team. Okay. But uh, later on, we actually get into getting some teams. So uh, you're able to, to, to make a team using that book. And, and that can do some cool stuff. Which is actually a lot of cool, fun stuff. So yeah. <laughs> All right, stuff to talk about. So, um, hopefully this chicken will be generous enough to lay us an egg. And if he does, then we can go ahead and get our squiddy friend. A squid egg. And then that will pass that quest. I'm liking this quest thing. It's really fun. No diamonds. I don't know if there's any diamonds. Looks like there's any room left for anything. Right, because you are not dropping any eggs. You're so mean. My goodness. Drop some eggs for Christ's sake. Stupid. Stupid chicken. I wish there was a way to speed up the egg dropping. Of these stupid chickens. If only, if only, if only, if only, if only there was a way for the chicken to drop some eggs. Okay. Let's actually bring this through, do we? We can bring him up here. There. There we go. Now we can get some of my filling in here. I have some chance of getting mushrooms. Wow. This was supposed to be like a very productive episode. We're supposed to complete like a million challenges because I was doing a crap ton of stuff off camera so that we could do this. But apparently not. I have a higher chance of getting chickens if we, or a higher chance of getting eggs if we got more chickens. Maybe, if we have some more arrows, we can probably get another chicken. That would be smart. That would be nice to have. So I know there's a scary over here. Or at least I thought there was. No, it's just one of you guys. Now it looks like a mob run, like we did in the last, like we did in the last season, but I'm not sure about that. It doesn't seem to be, to be that, that productive. You know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying. Alright, so, hopefully. Alright, nice. Oh, gotta close the door. It's annoying, but I gotta do it because that chicken will get out. And it looks like my forest has been completely infested. Which is amazing, and soon we're going to get hundreds of thousands of, of string. It's just string. Where are you, Mr. Chicken? You're almost done, Mr. Chicken. Almost done producing, producing your eggs. Because, you know, I would really appreciate it if you gave me some eggs. Not just for food purposes, but for requesting for stuff. Gods, God, for the gods of the SWE and uh, what's his face, please help me. Please help, and not just me, but help this chicken. Help this chicken to, to lay his wonderful egg, this wonderful creation of life that you've given me through the power of arrows. Somehow I can use arrows to, to spawn chickens. Yeah, quite weird, quite odd. Quite an odd power, um, but... Here's what it is, right? Here's what it is. Here's what it is. Now, Mr. Mr. Chicken, would you like to lay some eggs for me? I think that was a no. I wonder how long it takes chicken to lay eggs. I should actually look that up. That's the Minecraft facts. I don't even know. All I know is that you have a chance. There's like a, a point two percent chance when you throw an egg that you're going to get more than one chicken out of that egg. That's what I know. It's very weird to think about, obviously, but, you know. But anyway. <gasps> yes! Mr. Chicken! You have passed the test. Congratulations, Mr. Chicken. You've passed the test. You shall now be rewarded. Bonk. No, I'm not going to do that to you. That would obviously give me some cooked cook chicken, which would be really nice to have. But I'm going to be nice to you. Now we need eight of you, right? So let's get eight. So let's get half of that. And get you like that, and you like that. Perfect. Go. Eight. Nice. And now, by surrounding my egg. Sound like I'm in, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! or something. Now, by surrounding my egg with fishing rods, I shall create the almighty, the all-powerful Squid Spawner! Isn't that beautiful? Let's open you up. Congratulations! Nice. We're gonna go with number one. Because that's just the way we are. And we've got a reward bag. Let's open it right away, just like we always do. What did we get? We got some shimmer leaves. That's good for Thomcraft. But not for me. Not for me. And some cinder pearls. That's good once we get into Thomcraft. Alright, so what quest did we unlock doing that? Must go deeper. Interesting, so we must get an auto brewer. Then we'll get a potion of healing, potion of regen, half a heart, and a reward bag. Okay. Nether has many ores and other resources you can collect. It is, however, inhabited by many unsavory characters. Your friendly map creator recommends large number of potions if you plan to head into depths. Um, you really should visit at least once to fully experience the joys of this map. Okay, so auto brewer, I want to know what that costs. What is the costs of the auto... I guess there's a space. 
Maybe not. Okay, this is the auto enchanter. Oh, it's probably auto slash bluer. Auto bluer, which needs oh, it needs a balloon stand, which needs blaze rod. Um, blaze rod. I know we can get blaze powder. I guess I think when we sift through soul sand, that's how we can get it. I think. Stay out of the way. No, get out of the door. Don't you dare, mister. Don't you dare leave me alone. I need friendly friends. Need friends to be with me during this tough time. <sniffs> Yummy. Nice, we got some more mycelium. Alright, so what are, what's next on the list? Well, next on the list we'll be doing some Tinker's Construct. As we know, we need lava. Let's close the door so our chicken doesn't escape. And let's bring this lava over to the crucible. Hell yeah. Alright, so... Let's see, what do we need? Well, we need that stuff, which is like... The casts, which needs like aluminum something, I believe. Let's take a look at it. Let's look at... Um, where did I put that book? Is it in here? There it is. Mighty smelting. Okay. Recipes, alloys, all kinds of cool stuff. Aluminum brass. That's what we need. So three aluminum and one copper. So, can we do that? Can we pull it off, my friends? I think we can. Let's take a look at how much copper we got. Ooh, tons and tons of copper. And how much aluminum do we have? Aluminum ore. No, not so much. Not as much as we would have hoped, but enough for one, at least, I believe. Oh, we do have some aluminum in here. One, two, three, four. That should be quite nice. Pulverized aluminum there, but no in there. Alright, so let's go put these guys in. So we need one copper per three aluminum, right? So. We should have a ratio of three aluminum, one copper. Now, if these guys produce two each, then we should be good for that, I believe. Now, we are going to need a pickaxe head anyway, so let's go ahead and get a pickaxe head. What did we need? We needed a pickaxe head and an ingot cast, right? So we can do that. I think we can do that. Can't we? Because we have an iron ingot. Nice. And we also have some flint. Nice. But what we are going to need is a cast. Let's get this blank cast going. And let's turn you into a pickaxe head cast. Then we will use you to create you a flint pickaxe head which we will then put in our thingy so that we can get the thingy cool so let's run back over sprint run back over to a place where hopefully this is melted nice we got how much aluminum glass I think we got enough so we put one copper in and we put in two aluminum sands hopefully these will produce two each I hope. And then we can use this to melt down all of our ores, which will be really cool. So then we can make an ingot cast, just like that. And a pickaxe head cast, just like that. Nice. And because we got that ingot cast, now we can create some ingots. Just like that. And we can actually put a hopper underneath this and it'll auto eject so we can actually this like I said this can be our auto smelting it can be our auto or smelting area like I said now we've got that wait for the copper to do its thing we still have aluminum brass we've got two ingots worth of aluminum brass left and is that enough no that's not enough we need got one molten aluminum 
Boston copper. Weird. Oh well. We can always turn the aluminum and the copper into ingots. Like so. Wow. That's a lot. Wow. <laughs> I thought it said we had two ingots left. Got like a million ingots left. Oh, now we're done. Here's our aluminum. And here's our copper. And we should be empty. Nice. Okay, so that's I I personally love Tinker's construct in that in that method. The method of, of making in ingots like that is really cool, I think. Personally. Now, let's go ahead and manually submit some things. So manually submit. Okay, and let's choose the reward bag I thought we said. Yes, we did. Do, 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 I love that tune. It's the tune of life. Because that means we get a full life. I'm loving it. We're going to need them for when we go to the nether, like it said. The nether is a scary place. So now, what's our next one? Well, first off, it should have unlocked all everything except for the end. But now we can do bees and trees. Cool. We can go, go with the flow. But... We're going to want learning skyblock still. It's automatic. Oh boy. Aquas accumulator, autonomous activator, and vacuum hopper. These are some machines. And that's all we get? Oh my goodness. Eventually, you may get tired of moving water around in buckets. An aqueous accumulator can produce water very slowly out of thin air. Place one source block, or place a source block on at least two sides to speed up the water production. Then use ducts to move it anywhere it needs to go. A sprinkler from open blocks can be placed on top of an aqueous accumulator to hydrate and fertilize farms. As you get tired of sifting by hand, try using autonomous activators to do your clicking for you. Place up to three facing the sieve and set them to right-click mode. Fill the inventory with blocks you want. You want to sift, then walk away. You'll need a vacuum hopper to automate automate the collection of the resources obtained by the saving. So don't walk up too far away until you have one of those sucking up the ore chunks. Cool. So it's getting us step by step into each thing. Now we wanted the fungus among us, don't we? And then we go deeper. So I guess we're gonna have to wait for next episode for that. Sadly, I'm sorry guys. I know, it's so, it's so depressing, it's so sad, but we're gonna have to wait. I mean, that's just the way it is. I'll do a bunch of this, I'll do a bunch of saving of gravel off camera, and I'll do a bunch of saving of soul sand off camera, and see if we can get some blaze rods so we can complete the next challenge. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna need to do a lot of saving in general at the end, so I'll do a lot of saving of dust and gravel, because gravel we get, we get the ores, but we also get diamonds, and the dust we can get redstone from, which is a dire need of us. Now, with Daryl 20, my friends. And I've actually heard that Daryl 20 has started, or he wants, has he started? I don't know if he's started yet, but he, I heard that he wanted to, uh, to start doing Nightmare and Sky series, which is really cool for those of you who are Daryl 20 fans. And, uh, by the way, I'm, I'm a big channel too, by the way. Just putting it out there. I am a pretty good YouTuber, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Awkward. Anyway. So, this episode has run on way too long. It's taken way too long for me to do, to say, say what I want to say and do what I want to do. And we can't sit through sand. That's what I thought. So, anyway, to end the episode off, I'm just going to sit through one piece of soul sand and see what we get. Oops. See what we can get. Nether quartz. Um, okay. Decent. Just wait for it. Wait for it. We can get another one. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm gonna do this for a while, so just be with peace. Be at peace with it. Oh, I forgot we also got a boat. A boat with feather falling. I don't know what that's for, but pretty interesting. Have you laid another egg yet, my friend? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like you have. Oh, I forgot my reward bag. TNT! <laughs> that's quite the reward, I think. I think I deserve it. So yeah, sift through the last piece of soul sand. Last of the episode, I promise. We got some nether quartz and a gas tier. That's pretty cool. Okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, so drop me a like in the in the description below. 
Oh, no, no, skip. Drop me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave me a comment, let me know if you're doing this series, and next episode, we will have a ton of string from our farm here, and hopefully some more chickens. Thanks for watching, I'm gonna end the episode off the same way that I started it. Smacking things with my pan. And, oh, there's an Enderman. Okay, I wanted to end the episode off, but now I can't, because there's an Enderman that, that, that needs to be killed. There are endermen to be killed, my friends. Two of them, in fact. Okay, I need to get rid of all these creepers first. The creepers are dangerous. And I know I could have used his arrows, but I decided not to. Oh god, he's mad at me, isn't he? Ready for this? Here we go. That's what I'm gonna do. A bunch of these that I can hide. Ready for this? Fight! Whoops. Fight! Shit, he can actually hit me. Christ, that was dangerous. Run! Run! Run, run, run! Nice! Oh! No ender pearls!